guys, welcome to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. My name is Nancy Isime, and it's always a pleasure to have you join me on this show. As you know, we discuss everything and everyone that is trending, which is exactly what I'm going to do right after this break. Stay with me, I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending. Uh, before the break, I said I was going to introduce my guest, which is exactly what I'm about to do now. My guest for today is none other but the beautiful, the very talented, the amazing Beverly Osu. Hi, me. girl. Hey. Hello. You look really, really, no, you look nice, as in it? On flick. Hey, on flick. Let's just relax. I should relax, Abby. It's busting. Yeah. Let's it boss. Let's it boss. Before it boss, wait first. Let's discuss. Tell me, what are you wearing and what is the inspiration behind it? Oh, this is, yeah. Mm -hmm. This skirt is by Rhea. That's okay. Maria's line, clothing line. Okay. My best friend. Okay. And Zara top. Okay. And, you know, we're just basic people. Basic, eh? Mm -hmm. This is basic. Basic black and blue. You can never God, go wrong. do it for us, so we that one are basic. Let us become With basic. With all these peplums. Let us become, this is my stylist stuff. It's not my own. <laughs> well, it's good to have you on the show. You look amazing. Thank you. Now, let us talk about the topic of the day, which is, how do you turn scandals into public, into positive publicity? Oh. Yeah. Now, um, we're going to discuss for you, of course. Coming out of Big Brother, tell me, how was it for you getting over the whole boss and you? you know, the story that was circulating around social oh media. Because you know, the social media uh, age is not a very funny it's one. Things funny. just come out and it stays and everybody puts conclusion. But how are you able to come out and still thrive? I know I had like really, really strong people, like okay. like genuine love. Okay. First, I know I had that from mm. my family and my close friends. Mm. So I focused only on those people okay. and my work. Okay. But I won't lie, you know, there were some times that mm -hmm. you cry and mm -hmm. be like, oh God, why me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you just have to keep doing your work because most people that throw this hate and they don't really don't know you. Right. So you right. just use that to make yourself feel a little bit better because. Okay. Okay, but how was it welcome? Because I know that you came back and, um, you know, you started doing things, yeah. you started... Is that when you started doing movies? Is that when you went into the movie industry? Officially, yes. Officially. So how was it? How did you go through... How did you go past that? Because we know that we are sort of in a country where people like to judge and most people who want to give you jobs might be like, oh, no, that girl that was doing things and being brother, <laughs> you know, we don't want to... So the people welcome you and also welcome you um fully into the industry that you were trying to break into which is a movie industry i didn't need anybody to welcome me first right <laughs> because i have my talent so mm. you just have to keep putting out good work and okay somebody will reach out to you one day right that was my mindset mm. do you understand um well you know in order to be able to put out good work you need to give in a platform because without a platform, people can't see you. Remember, social media is there. Right. <laughs> so you can, you can just do you okay. and somebody out there will reach out to you. Jeez, but mm. yeah, I went for auditions after Big Brother. I went for mm -hmm. Jennifer's Diary audition. I got the role. I went, I went for a couple, couple of auditions. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. And right. I read, I got the role. And, you know, from one movie to another movie, people mm. recommend people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, being a model... Um, of course, modeling is quite broad. You can get to be in videos. I've been in videos when I was a model. I did runway modeling. Yeah. I did commercial. I did photo shoots. It was and You know, I did beauty pageants one day. Oh, Lord. Hustle in days. <laughs> but how is it for you to go? Because I still see people. Like sometimes in some people's write-up, I still see video vixens. I'm like, I was never a vixen, okay? I was, uh, yeah, I, I do was in a few videos, this, this but you didn't see me dancing. I was just straight like a stick. But that's, you the, know? that's the most classy video vixen because I never danced in a video. Right, I right. Just, so how do you feel when people refer to you as a video vixen? I know you can it? never leave me, but then we did it, right? Yeah, you were in the videos. Well, right? We were in videos. Yeah. So, oh, well, whatever you call me, video vixen actress, or oh, join, mm -hmm. all of them is the same thing, entertainment. Mm -hmm. So, or, do people take you seriously? Or do you say, who is this video vixen who's trying to, you know, be so popular and be so famous by force? There's <laughs> video vixen, now modeling, now she wants to be a big brother, now acting. Because they know video vixen, I've, I've been uh, a stylist assistant. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've done little, little, little feeling like an agent to bring models to right. do something so <sighs> the hustling days and that just take you back and bring some yeah I, oh, oh, yes. I just thought about so many things i'm like oh man you've come a long way <laughs> exactly. darling <laughs> tell me how has the journey been so far it's been amazing okay it's been amazing i won't lie there's a few bumps on the road but that's life 
Okay. But it's been amazing and it can only get better and better. Exactly, exactly. But you still get scandals from all of this, especially BBA. Do you still get negative comments? Yeah, people so... Still bring it up and try to use it against you. But street. those people, like, five years ago, <laughs> that, I'm like... Hmm? You're trying to tell me something that happened five years ago. I, I haven't forgotten everybody that... Oh, was that? Like, really? Right, right, right. But do you feel like there's some sort of pressure or intimidation amongst actresses, you know, especially in the movie industry? And you know what they say? They say, there's some people who say, okay, they, they, this is the new generation yeah. of actors, you know, the old generation, the Asaba generation. I don't know what that means. And then they say, oh, they, they, I heard someone say Bella Niger actors. That's the new ones, the ones who are in cinema. So there's Bella Niger actors. I don't know I, what I know about that the cinema means, actors. You know? <laughs> I know yeah, about and then cinema. cinema actors. They call it better than the home, home video actors. That's Asaba. Yeah, I do know. But do you think that somehow there's any sort? Because you know, you mentioned auditions, and I know that's one very big factor. Yeah. Um, because you have to go for auditions, you have to, you know, read and be accepted, and then yeah. you get to a, a particular point, and then you just have to get to re referrals, yeah. get scripts. But do you think there's any sort of pressure or intimidation in the industry? Amongst actresses, because you're an actress, so I'd and like you, to know. you too. Now nah, leave me. I'm a presenter right now. <laughs> now nah, leave that thing. Tell me about you. <laughs> well, I don't see. I don't see any pressure. I think the pressure is just on you okay. to be better in your craft. Okay. So, okay. the the entertainment industry is very broad. Okay. And we say that it's kind of full, mm. but it's not full. There oh, are a okay. lot of people. Mm. And everybody, even if you go to school and you're a doctor, one day you just wake up, I want to be an actress, mm. I want to be an actress, and it's not rice and beans. Mm. Mm. It's, it takes a lot. So the entertainment industry, I mean the acting world is full. Mm. So the pressure is on you to better your craft. Right. That's where the pressure is. Mm. It's not on, it's in acting better than me. No. Okay. The pressure is on you. It's not like modeling that you can steal somebody's pose. Right. <laughs> it's right. inbuilt. Right. Yeah. Right. Amazing. Now tell me when... Would you say was that turning point for you? What movie role? What um, big thing in your life? Was it Big Brother? Was it a video you did? Was it you know acting a modeling job? When was the turning point for Beverly also? I would just say Big Brother. Okay. Usually I don't say it because I say oh I was doing things before Big Brother, but mm. it's Big Brother introduced me to a different stage of my life. Mm. I was twenty when I went for Big Brother, so it just introduced me to adulthood. Mm. you know officially mm. like you know straightforward yeah, this, is, this is it <laughs> so after big brother mm -hmm. i decided to you know do things on my own mm. instead of living on my own you know life had its turns but big brother was it for me okay okay now what advice would you give to other housemates coming out of the house who have similar scandal stories as you <laughs> just I, mean, I don't know man well, well how would you tell them to i mean uh, Teddy A and Bam Bam is out now. That that's the most recent one. Uh, but tell me, what advice I, if you I, to tell? First, me? I think I like um, the fact that Teddy A and Bam Bam are still, you know, and kind of looks genuine. Mm -hmm. Unlike my own, that was in the house and came out and then he left me. He bailed on me <laughs> to face this on my own. So, you know, I think they should just stick what together. What a cold world. Because I was reading about it then, I'm like, why would he do something like he that? He broke up with me on Facebook. <laughs> and she's, ah, God. He How hold romantic. Me. Oh, God. <laughs> so, he, and where was he from? Because he's in South Nigeria. Africa. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I see now, I mean, Teddy and Bamba, they're out now, and I see how they're still doing. And I, I imagine, what if they didn't come out of the house together? You know, I feel like you they know? didn't come out of the same house with with the no no he left before me exactly so i mean they came out together so they kind of still have something that to bond. get up with yes and then be able to ride but on that. i think they need each other right now okay they okay. really do need each other because oh eh, charlie <laughs> in the next two months to be a different story you think so yeah why do you think so because life takes its chances mm. the idea is an artist bam bam's an actress mm. walk walk will Stretch it's you stretch. guys love. So you think that an actor and an actress, they can't work out when it comes to love. Love is, you know, is amazing. Love can work in and bring both any kind of people together. Mm. But when people, these two people are trying to find themselves, mm. it's chaotic. Mm. They don't even know what's going on. Mm. She might be going for auditions. He, it's just 
I know that there will be too many things that would test them. So mm -hmm. let's see. Let's see how. I'm not answer. praying for breakup. Yeah, but you're just saying from experience. I'm just saying from experience. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's, let's see. see. We wish them the very best of luck anyway. You know. How would you describe Nollywood? Hmm. In one word, before you expand to tell me, how would you, what would you say Nollywood is to you? I would say progress. Okay. Because, you know, a lot of people are coming back home mm. and using their ideas for Nollywood now, mm. unlike before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Nollywood is in progress. It's mm. in progress because, you know, we have to enter Hollywood mm -hmm. proper, proper. Now proper. we're just merging small, 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 mm -hmm, small, mm -hmm. small. But we've, we don't have, like, an export from Nigeria mm. there mm. yet. Mm. But you know the story about uh, Mo Abudu and the partnership with Sonny? Oh, well, did you hear about it? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It came I, out I got yeah. Mail. And I mean, you see someone like that who is partnering with, um, doing partnership with Sonny, Sonny. you know, to, to no, merge is, both Hollywood and Hollywood together. Yeah, and then there's, of course, Mary Remy as well with Rock. Rock. And there's Rock Sky in London. You know, these are people who are trying to, of course, but even our marketers, we have Nigerian communities. We are like exporting almost. our craft. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say is we need to blend to merge it to merge to just watch a movie and randomly just see you and and Johnny Tatum no not Girl. Johnny Tatum because that's for me ah uh, <laughs> yeah you know just we need to merge like you know okay. what kind of came everybody went ballistic you know we need to merge what happened to one Nigerian lead actor in Wakanda mm. So, but there was a Kenyan though, so that's we would take it, we take it, we take it, whatever way. I get what you mean, but yeah, we take it. But tell me, what is your take on social media and celebrities? Social media and celebrities. Mm. Social media is like our portfolio, right? That is where people come, look at us, research. Mm, can I work with this person? Yeah. So social media is is our big TV. Mm. It's bigger than us being on billboards. Where do you think we should draw the line? Stick to your work. Right. Yeah. Stick to your work. Because my Instagram page is mostly my work. Right. Even if I have fun or anything, I hardly post that on Instagram. Mm. Do you get? Mm. So just stick to your work. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> Tell us, how's the year been for you so far? Honestly, what are you working on? What should we expect from you? No, this year is amazing already. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm speaking in faith. Hallelujah. Yeah. This yes. year is amazing. But you know, the first the first three months. Yeah. You know. So trying to trying to understand what the year holds <laughs> for us. Yeah. So yeah. This year is amazing already. Okay. Amazing. Good to know that. Good to know that. Thank you for sharing. Mm, thank All you. right, guys, enjoy the video of the day. We'll be right back. Oh no, my fans. Whoa, wow. Whoa, why? Ah, this is some accolades. Accolades. Oh no, I pay my dues. I pay the bill. Oh no, ah, this is some accolades. Oh my God. Oh, my brother, whoa, why? Whoa, why? Oh, listen. I deserve some accolades. Accolades, you nigga. Know oh, no, I pay my dues. I pay the food. Oh, I deserve some accolades. Accolades, nigga. Brother, whoa, why? Whoa, why? Listen. I deserve some accolades. I swear to God, oh, bro. I pay my dues. I pay the food, Listen, nigga. I deserve some accolades. Accolades. Oh, my brother, whoa, wow. Whoa, wow. Listen, <laughs> y'all should acknowledge me. We global now. Oh, I pay my dues. I pay the food. Oh, no. I deserve some accolades. Accolades, oh, nigga. my brother, whoa, wow. Whoa, wow. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Trending. It is fast fire question time now. What happens? I get to ask my guest, Febri Osu, a couple questions mm -hmm. and then you get to answer them under 60 seconds. Okay. Basically, questions about you. Okay. Yes. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Time starts now. What is your favorite car? Um, FJ Cruiser, Jeep Wrangler, a truck, basically. Okay, what is your most cherished item? You don't have the attachment to things. Okay. Favorite house chore? Um, cleaning. Favorite movie of all time? Pretty Woman. I know. <laughs> Biggest moments this year? Uh. 
Okay, favorite African soup? Um, Ufin Salah. Favorite holiday spot? Namibia. Pizza or shawarma? Shawarma. Asum or suya? Asum. Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. What is your phobia? Uh, I must arrange my bed before, like, you know, if I lay on it, I have that OCD. I like OCD. to clean. Have you... So you're, you're scared of dirt? So. Yeah, I hate, I hate to disorganize people. No, hate, hate is a strong word. Dislike. You're scared of them. Yes. Okay. I just feel if you're disorganized, you don't have your life together. Ah, ah. Is that bad? Sister, you have to calm down. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I'm tired. I just want to sleep. No. I lay in my bed. No. Yeah, but I get what you mean. I get what you mean. <laughs> I get what you mean. You did really well under 60 seconds. Um, we're going to move on right now to the next deal, which is a tribe. What happens? I get to ask you social media abbreviations. You're okay. Social media inclined, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure you're going to pass this one in flying colors. Who? Oh, Chimo. Is you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. First one of MIA. Misses in action. Yes. F A Q. F what? A Q. For information, I guess. Uh mm -hmm. what? what? No, move on, move on, move on. No, I don't no, know no, it. No, you have to pass it. F A Q. You don't pass it or you tell me, Nancy, what is it? Nancy, what is it? No, not like that. Though. Nancy, please help me. Nancy, please help me. Oh, okay. So move on to <laughs> It means frequently asked questions. You don't mean it. You hear those jam things we used to buy. They need to I did not know themselves it. towards it, but like FAQ. I know. did not really think about that side. So. <laughs> okay. Well, YOLO. On your own. YOLO. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You don't know YOLO. Yolo Everybody's is. like YOLO. YOLO is YOLO. It means something. Okay, I don't know. Do you want me to help you? Help me. You only live once. Oh, yeah, I say that, but I don't put it as YOLO. I say it. <laughs> you see, you just have to think about these things a little more. You know, you know it. Okay, mm. the next one GTG. GTG. John Clues. Yeah. It's like, it's like, like we're here now. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, Bev. So I see you later is GTG, right? Or be right back, or be right back, be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, you did. <laughs> I think I'm getting old. Oh my god, <laughs> do you want me to help you? Help me. Go. It means got to go. It's like, oh, yeah, I was like, got to go. God, like, I feel like I'm disgracing my mother. No, no, you are good to go. Mommy Susie is fine. <laughs> social media TBT TBT Tro TB. Yeah, throwback Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> TBT. Throwback. Throwback. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why are you laugh? You see? That's the way you did. Like, you know, when you're trying to, like, fix your may, brain. Maybe. You're telling your brain, don't form hard. I know this one. I see. True. And your brain is like, ah. <laughs> it's like on battery one. Like, it's like, should I let her get? When I get to you, like, throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday. You got yeah. it. You got last one. O O T D. Do you know I know that one? <laughs> <laughs> but it's just that you when know, I see it on the phone, I can't get it. <laughs> but it's just that now that write it on your own. I'm T -T. looking at my intertelecom like this now. O O T D. Tell me something, something, something T D. Do you want me to help? Yeah. I'll be on the day. Oh, yeah. yeah. What it, that's what it is. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. No, it's okay. Thank you for participating. Thank Mind you me. for teaching me some things. Because exactly. It's like the school of social media. The principal is Nancy Sima. Oh, shit. I just called you. Thanks. Thanks much. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for this segment. We're going to go on a short break, but when we come back, Beverly will be reading some nasty comments about her. Oh, Stay wow. with me. We'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to Trending Red to You by Ed. Tell myself, have Beverly Osu on my hot seat. And she's about to read some nasty comments and respond to them, please. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this person goes, Same Beverly, I beg, she's not decent. Wouldn't be surprised if she's gay. Um, I have decent to go to do with sexuality. I, 
That's why the person is anonymous. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's anonymous. So from Tracy, she is so fake and full of herself. No talent. Oh, shit, darling, but you see me on your TV screen, just like now. So see me on your TV screen. You better be tell fine. them what it is. They'll be fine. Tracy, you know, all these people, they've never met you before, but you just assume that right. they feel that they know you. Right. That's why she's fake and full of herself. Darling, I have a resting face so i know sometimes when you see me you can come talk to me <laughs> you can try i'm actually a nice person tracy okay, okay. so that peace will reign exactly in so tracy's home hallelujah <sighs> say pizza. tracy don't drink cold water today yes it's fine <laughs> calm your nerves down yeah. thank you yeah. Beverly, thank you so very much for coming on the show today. You were such a great sport. Did you have oh, fun? Yes, I did. Yay! <laughs> Till we see you next time, right? No. On okay. trending. On trending, exactly. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Beverly gotta go, but I'll be right back after this break. Enjoy. And of course, watch the top five. Be right back. Welcome to top five. Today we'll be looking at the top 5 fashion designers in the world. At number 5 is Coco Chanel. Bonne Gabrielle Coco Bonheur Chanel. She is an excellent French fashion designer, founder of the well-known Chanel brand, whose modernist thought, practical designs and pursuit of expensive simplicity made her an important and influential figure in 20th century fashion. She was the only fashion designer to be named in Time 100. At number 4 is Giorgio Armani, an outstanding Italian fashion designer particularly noted for his menswear and for his clean tailored lines. He formed his company Armani in 1975 and by 2001 was acclaimed as the most successful designer to come out of Italy with an annual turnover of $1.6 billion and a personal fortune of $7 billion as of 2012. At number 3 is Donatella Versace. She is the younger sister to Gianni Versace and she has proven to be no less a sibling. After the murder of Gianni in 1997, Donatella took over and has taken the Versace name to new heights. She made sure that Versace shops could cater to the different fashion senses around the world, particularly Milan and New York. Top celebrities like Jennifer Lopez and Madonna have endorsed the company's collection of clothes, accessories, fragrances and home function. At number 2 is Ralph Lauren. In 1970, the first polo logo was seen in Lauren's line of women's suit that was designed in the classic men's style. Two years later, the famous short sleeve shirt with the polo emblem appeared and it soon became a classic. These shirts have been collected by men all over the world ever since. The collection is so unique that it has been featured in the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. And finally at the number one sport is Tom Ford. Tom Ford is counted among the most famous designers today, with portfolios including seven as a creative director for both Verse and Laurent and Gucci. He wanted to be an actor when he was growing up. He was born in Texas and even took training to be an actor. Tom Ford's popularity as a designer reached peaks in the year 2000 and he was declared the winner of the Best International Designer Award. Hey guys, it's a wrap. Thank you so very much for tuning in today. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. I had Beverly also on my hot seat and we had a lot to talk about. I hope you enjoyed our conversation. As you know, you can actually join us, right? Follow us on Twitter at Hip TV and on Instagram at Official Hip TV. You can also follow me if you wish at Nancy Isime Official only on Instagram. I am not on Twitter. I am not on Facebook. That is not me. Don't give anybody your money. I'm begging you. <laughs> Alrighty, until I see you next time, do not forget that I love you, but God loves you more. Goodbye.